I'm 33 years old, and I still suck a pacifier. I'm 36 years old, and I still drink from a bottle. I'm 34 years old, and I still wear diapers. My mom was right. When she wanted me to give up the bottle, the pacifier, diapers, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I interviewed for the position of CEO with a Wall Street firm and I almost got the job. But the interview took so long that I started sucking my pacifier during it and they decided to go with the candidate who doesn't suck his pacifier. Thankfully, they still gave me a job on the trading room floor, mopping it. Sure, I don't have friends. They would get so embarrassed when we go to Dave and Buster's and we all want to do shots and I'd have to do mine out of a bottle. But what am I going to do, drink out of a cup? impossible. My husband divorced me because he got so sick of changing my duty diapers, but I couldn't change them myself. And it's not like I could use a toilet. <laughs> have you seen those things? Seriously, have you seen those things? Ugh. When I was little, I remember my mom coaxing me, bribing me, scolding me, on her hands and knees, begging me to please use a sippy cup, use the potty, quit the pacifier. And then I remember when she gave up. The proof is in the pudding. Mm. Tons of kids just never transition to the next phase. And yours is probably one of them. Studies show that 100% of 10% of scientists agree that 60% of kids who fail to transition 100% of the time come from 90% of parents who worry about it 108% of the time. That's more than 40%, give or take 8%. So stop worrying about your kid's progress. Or worry harder. It'll make absolutely no difference. I still suck on a pacifier, drink from a bottle, wear diapers, and, and I'm, I'm proud, proud of, of it. it. Can I get a refill on this, Baba? This is dirty with lipstick. I went duty. Anthony, can you say the break womb? 